ISA 200 2007 is released nearly before 40 years, but still uh, there are a number of practical difficulties when we talk about uh, implementation of this code uh, in the rural projects. One of the questions we often receive that uh, is designed with IS 800 2007 is relatively uneconomical. So my response to this question is that uh, design of steel structure using IS 800 2007 is at par with reference to other design standards as well. But there are certain reasons uh, because of which we are not able to fully optimize our design of steel structures. So a so couple of reasons if we talk about one of the reason is that there are certain gaps between Indian standard codes and the popular software. That is one of the reasons. Second reason would be the handbook along with the detailed practical examples is still not available. So there are certain ambiguous clauses uh, in the code and if we do not understand those clauses properly, then we are not able to utilize those clauses uh, in the design of steel structures. So because of that, in fact, our design could add some time on the conservative side and also on the unconservative side also in certain cases. And also there is no uh, confidence in the group of engineers while approaching the design of steel structure using limit state design method, which is mentioned in IS 800 2007. So this kind of scenarios really prompted us to generate a unique online course titled as Steel STR 001, which is decode IS 800 2007 along with the software. So we already conducted uh, three batches for this course and the fourth batch based on request of a uh, number of engineers we are going to launch uh, on 26 October 23. So basically this entire course is extract of a number of in-house exercises which I conducted in different organizations in last decade with reference to the design of steel structures. So what we'll be talking uh, throughout this course will be approaching to basic to advanced concepts for the design of uh, steel structures. We'll also discuss the important provisions of uh, Indian standard code for the design of steel structures. And of course, along with the software applications in Stead Pro, Rhyme Connection and EDAPS. In the first session, we will start with uh, basics of uh, steel structures, like what is overall approach for design of steel structures how to prepare structural system, how to decide uh, location of bracing in, uh, in vertical plane as well as in the plan. What are the importance of uh, stability concepts for the uh, steel structure? What is the difference between shear connection and moment connection and how to define uh, or rather how to decide type of the connection at the uh, early stage of the project or let's say while configuration of the structure system? What is the preferred orientation for uh, different members? And we will navigate through one of the computer model to, to see all these different aspects in, in a brief. In the next session, we'll be talking about uh, which is the latest code for the design of steel structure in, in India. So, of course, IS 800 2007 is, is the code uh, for design of steel structures. But as we know that uh, IS 800 2007 is reproduced in NBC 2016 along with the amendment number one. Plus, there are certain improvements made in NBC 2016. So with that, IS 800 2007 is superseded in my opinion. And over and above that, uh, the latest development is that uh, uh, IS 18168-2023 is also released. And it is, it is mentioned that whenever there is a conflict between IS 18168 and uh, Section 12 of IS 800 2007, that we need to follow IS 18168. So this is what we'll try to understand in the second session uh, with, the, uh, with the details of different codes and a few clauses that uh, what is the latest code and what are the latest documents which are to be followed for the design of steel structures in India. In the next session, we will start with uh, second order elastic analysis, elastic buckling load factor as per IS code. So first of all, when it is required uh, to perform buckling analysis, what is buckling load factor? Manual calculations for the buckling load factor and how to perform buckling analysis in software, let's say in Stead Pro as well as in the ETEPS. We'll also talk about P-Delta analysis. And we will compare uh, the results what we re received from the Stead Pro, EDEPS, 
and we'll try to compare it with the manual calculations for the simple problems. In the next session, we'll talk about plastic analysis as per IS 800 2007. So IS 800 2007 is also talking about plastic analysis. So what is plastic analysis? Uh, uh, then when plastic analysis is required to be performed as per IS code, what precautions to be taken if we are adopting plastic analysis uh, as a part of our total design process? The brief about uh, plastic hinge formation, uh, then redundancies, which will be there in the structure due to, let's say, multiple plastic hinges. And we will have one study model in EDEPS just to show this concept of uh, plastic hinges. In the next session, we'll be talking about uh, design of tension member as per IS code. So firstly, we'll talk about what are the important provisions in IS code for the design of tension member. And we'll talk about different limit states like uh, yielding, rupture, block shear, et cetera. We'll perform design of tension member um, manually, as well as uh, we'll perform uh, the design of tension member in the software, State Pro and EDEPS and we will compare the results. We'll also talk about different design parameters available in the software, which needs to be managed properly uh, for appropriate design of tension member. In the next session, we'll be talking about uh, design of uh, compression member as per IS code. So firstly, we'll talk about important provisions in Indian standard code. We'll talk about uh, important limit state, which is flexural buckling for the columns, then concept of effective length. There are a number of questions we, we are assuming for the effective length. So that concept we'll discuss and then we will uh, discuss how to define appropriate effective length for the uh, different cases. We'll also talk about design parameters which are required to be entered in the software for design of compression member. And finally, we will perform design of uh, compression member in Stead Pro ETEPS as well as we'll perform that design manually to compare uh, different results. In the next session, we'll be talking about a member which is subjected to pure flexure or let's say pure banding. So firstly, we'll start again with the important provisions mentioned in Indian Standard Code. Thereafter, we will talk about very important limit state uh, for the pure lecture or let's say pure bending condition which is lateral torsional buckling and this is one of the uh, very important uh, limit state for the design of a steel structure which we will explore uh, in the entire course we'll talk about how to decide uh, effective length uh, for the member uh, we'll also perform the design of member using manual calculations as well as along with the software and we'll also talk about the uh, the importance of the appropriate design parameters in the entire exercise and we'll highlight that uh, if uh, design parameters are not considered properly uh, in, in this specific case then the design could err substantially on uh, highly conservative side or also it could be on the unconservative side in certain cases in the next session, we will uh, talk about uh, design of members subjected to combined forces. Combined forces, that means the actual compression plus bending plus shear, et cetera. Uh, and also let's say bending maybe in both the direction. We'll start with uh, important provisions in Indian Standard Code. Then we'll talk about actual force plus uh, bending in one direction, as well as uh, we'll talk about uh, biaxial bending. We'll talk about very important concept uh, in Indian Standard Code, which is equivalent moment factor. And thereafter, we will perform a design of, uh, of a couple of members manually, and we'll compare those results uh, in, in the software State Pro and ETEPS. And of course, we'll talk about uh, the important design parameters for this. In the next session, uh, we'll talk about uh, design of connections because connections are very important for the steel structures. And we can say that the connections are weak link in the structure. So that's why the connections should be stronger enough uh, than, the, than the members so that uh, during extreme event, they do not become weak link in the uh, structure. So we'll start with the with the important provisions in the IS code for the connection design. We'll talk about uh, different types of bolts like uh, HSFG, which is high strength friction grip bolts, ordinary bolts, etc. What are different types of welding uh, mentioned in the code? What would be overall philosophy or approach for the connection design for the steel structure that we'll discuss? And what are the minimum design actions to be considered 
for the design of connections as per Indian standard code. In the next session, we'll talk about uh, design of shear connections. What are the different limit states involved for the design of uh, shear connections? Then we'll perform design of a uh, number of connections in the software RAM, RAM connection like uh, beam to column connections, beam to beam connection, pressing connections, splice connection, split connections, etc. And we'll be utilizing RAM connection software for this to illustrate the, uh, the different limit states or, or let's say the effect of different parameters on the design of uh, steel connections. In the next session, uh, we'll talk about uh, design of moment connections as per IES 800-2007. So firstly, we'll talk about different limit states uh, which are to be considered for design of moment connections. And as we all know that the design of moment connection is, is having relatively more complications as compared to the shear connections. We'll perform uh, design of uh, connections or design of moment connections in the software RAM connection, like uh, connections such as uh, beam to column connections, then uh, what are the requirements of different types of stiffeners and how to decide type of stiffener, how to decide, uh, let's say, the thickness of stiffener, dimensioning of stiffener, etc. We'll also perform design of splice connection, base split connection, as well as we'll talk about uh, design of connections for the tubular sections also. In the next session, we will initiate our discussion about earthquake resistant design of steel structures as per Indian standard code. So firstly, we'll start with the section 12 of IS 800 uh, 2007. What is uh, the background of uh, section 12 or what is the intent of section 12? What are the general queries which we are receiving uh, for the section 12 and uh, what is the response uh, which I'm giving uh, to, to my colleagues uh, or let's say to the engineers based on my understanding? What are important clauses of uh, section 12? We'll just try to see. What are the changes made in NBC 2016 as comparison to section 12 of IS 800 2007? We'll try to highlight uh, important changes made in NBC 2016. We'll talk about uh, the response spectrum analysis uh, for the structure and we'll see one of the computer models just to see the step-by-step -step approach and what are the precautions uh, which should be taken when we are adopting or when we are utilizing response spectrum analysis in the software. In the next session, we'll continue our uh, discussion about earthquake resistant design and we'll talk about uh, IS 18168 uh, 2023, which is the code or document released uh, very recently. We will touch upon the important clauses of uh, IS 18168. We'll try to highlight the conflicts uh, between section 12 and uh, IS 18168, now it is mentioned in IS 18168 that in case of conflict, uh, we need to refer IS 18168. So we'll try to highlight those uh, uh, conflicts based on the quick comparison of both the documents. What are the options now available in the software as of today with reference to earthquake resistant design of steel structures? So we will explore State Pro as well as ETEPS as well as RAM connection and we'll try to see that what options are available in the software with reference to let's say section 12 of ISA 2007 or let's say what are changes made in uh, NBC 2016 as well as the latest document which is IS 18168-2023. So all different uh, provisions we'll try to explore that whether those are available in the software or not. In the next session, uh, we'll talk about uh, the, the important aspects for the design of steel structures in brief, which is, let's say, fatigue design, fire resistant design, and the durability aspect. And towards the end of the session, we will talk about uh, design of uh, gantry gutter. So after discussing all the uh, important concepts uh, for the design of steel structures, now we will see one of the case study, which is, let's say, a shared kind of a structure, uh, wherein we will try to see what maybe overall approach, what is the uh, importance of the stability concepts, preparing structural system, preferred type of sections for uh, different structural system, then the brief about wind load application on the uh, structure, then design parameters for the strength and deflection, etc. We'll also talk about uh, importance of P-delta analysis and how appropriately P-delta analysis should be carried out for the steel structures. 
in the next uh, session uh, we'll continue our discussion related to the case study but this time we will talk about uh, equipment supporting structure uh, and we will again discuss about uh, overall approach importance of stability concept how to configure the structure system application of wind load response spectrum analysis importance of p delta analysis design parameters and discussion on the results etc finally we will talk about uh, balanced queries from the participants uh, concluding remarks and way forward so the course will commence from 26 october 23 and the link for registration is mentioned uh, below on the screen so looking forward to see you in this unique online course thank you